very good morning to respected faculty and seniors. My topic is as uh, represented. Uh, cataract is one of the most significant cause of bi uh, bilateral blindness and it has come a long way from the era of couching and it to now it has evolved as a refractive surgery. FACO emulsification is one of the most widely performed procedure all around the world and one of the most uh, common complication is corneal endothelial decompensation. Persistent effort is made all around the world to improve upon the surgical techniques. Our study is a prospective study which compares the corneal endothelial cell morphology and density changes by torsional and longitudinal mode in the patient undergoing cataract surgery. We have also compared the BCVA and the central corneal thickness for both the groups. We have total enrolled 470 patients with immature senile cataract who were aged more than 50 years with grade 2 or more through LOCS3 grading and an endothelial cell basic count of more than 1500 cells per millimeter square. The individuals were randomly distributed in two groups, 235 each, and the all surgeries were performed by the same surgeon on infinity machine. Uh, uh, the surgeries were performed using the superior corneal incision and monofocal IOL was implanted. For longitudinal group, the standard ultrasound probe was used and for the torsional group, the ozil uh, probe was used. Any complication in the surgery, any previous ocular pathology or pre-op endothelial count less than 1500 was excluded from the study. Our patient had four follow-up. First was pre-op, second was post-op day one, post-op day seven, and post-op day 28. In all the four visits, four arms were me uh, 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 measured. BCAA was, was, was measured by the logmar chart, endothelial cell density, coefficient of variance, and central corneal thickness was measured by the specular microscope. We are, I've compiled the result and discussion together and we are comparing it with the two published study, the one in uh, DOS and the other in IGAO. Mm -hmm. And the right arm will be our study and the left arm will be the comparative arm. This is the our study representing the BCVA as we see the uh, value of the logmar going down more in the torsional group representing a better visual outcome in the torsional group which was, signific uh, which was uh, significant with a p-value of less than 0.01. Uh, we were in corroboration with the study which was in conducted in 2014 where the BCVA difference was again significantly different in the two groups. The study in 2018 although did not show that there was significant difference between the two groups but the percentage of patient attaining the BCVA of 2020 was more in the torsional group that as compared to the longitudinal group. When we compare the cell density, our study had the result with a minimum, uh, with a maximum loss which is occurring on day one with a minimum uh, uh, betterment over four weeks. This was in corroboration with both the studies that we are comparing with, but there was one difference that uh, as we can see it's shown at all, the endothelial cell loss is continuing over the four weeks of period, but it's uh, sort of has stabilized in our study and the Das Gupta et al study. When we compare the coefficient of variance, this was the graph which we got. There was maximum coefficient of variance uh, found on day one and uh, which came back to normal by the day four weeks. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't compare this arm with both of the studies. And when we compare the central corneal thickness, this was the graph which we got. There was maximum increase in central corneal thickness on day one and uh, there was persistent decrease in it after that. This was again in corroboration with the study of 2018. With this, we conclude that the torsional mode showed better visual outcome as compared to the longitudinal mode. Mo uh, and uh, when we compare the torsional mode, we found that there was less endothelial cell loss, less change in coefficient of variance, and lesser increase in central corneal thinkers as compared to the longitudinal mode. And this data was significant in all the forearms. That will be also. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. V.